likely it is to have them come into the The higher the tariff, the more you're going to put on the value of that piece, those goods, the higher people are going ready. to pay in shops. That ready? The higher the tariff, the more likely it is that the company will come into the United States and build a factory in the United States so it doesn't have to pay the tariff. I was tagged in that video several times by Elle, which I very much appreciated, but it begs the question of if what Donald Trump is saying is true. Do tariffs make companies bring their factories into the U.S. and create jobs? And luckily for you and for me, there is an economics paper that looks at this exact question, whether or not the Trump tariffs in 2018 and 2019 created jobs. Now, when we're asking this question, I think we need to think about this among two dimensions. The first is the direct effect of the tariffs. Did the tariffs themselves encourage companies to come to the U.S. to create factories and create jobs? But then we also need to think about the potential indirect effects. In economics, we call this spillover effects. So things that maybe wouldn't directly be related to the tariff, but might cause something else that might affect jobs. Luckily for us, this paper looks at both the direct and the spillover effects so that we can make a determination about how the Trump tariffs in 2018 and 2019 affected individuals. So this paper finds that when Trump in 2018 and 2019 put tariffs on foreign metals, on washing machines, on a wide variety of goods, it did not create, but they also didn't lose any jobs. The tariffs themselves did not have a direct effect. It did not encourage companies to bring their factories in the U.S. and create more American jobs. We also need to think about, I mentioned this before, the potential spillover effects. And the spillover effects when it comes to tariffs that are issued by the U.S. are something called retaliatory tariffs. So other countries looking at the U.S., seeing that they've issued tariffs, decide, 